let us discuss this very interesting theorem of limit okay so what we have to do we have to prove one if and only if part is there so first of all i am going to assume this part as you can see on the screen and i am going to prove the second part using obviously epsilon delta definition of limit we are going to prove it so let us take one epsilon first let epsilon greater than 0 be given so by definition okay we have this information so by definition of limit what can we write so therefore there exists delta greater than 0 such that what we supposed to write say as you can see here z approaches to infinity so therefore we need to write mod z greater than 1 by delta implies the same thing is happening here so therefore f of z is greater than 1 upon epsilon since both of them are approaching to infinity so that's why we supposed to write after that what will i do i'm going to replace z by 1 by z let us do replacing z by z by 1 by z we get let us see what will you get if you replace z by 1 by z we will have here 1 by z greater than 1 by delta right implies on this side we will have this one let us discuss on that side what will happen here also we need to replace z by 1 by z so mod f of 1 by z greater than 1 upon epsilon see but we want basically 1 upon f of 1 minus z here okay so what will i do i will take reciprocal of both sides of this side also and as well as on that side also what will be happen so therefore mod z less than delta if you take reciprocal of both sides we'll have this one as well as inequality will get change right obviously it is greater than zero since if it is zero then denominator cannot be zero here what will happen if you take reciprocal we'll have one upon f of one by z less than epsilon if you take reciprocal of this side we will have epsilon as well as you know when we take reciprocal inequality will get change a small adjustment i'm going to do that is zero less than mod z minus zero as you know if you subtract zero from any term or any number we will have the same thing so that's why i could write it implies i will do the same thing if one upon f of 1 by z minus 0 less than epsilon so now we can write by definition of limit so therefore can you tell me what we supposed to write therefore limit z approaches to 0 since we have got mod z minus 0 right and what is the function we have 1 upon f of 1 by z this is a function and it, it is equal to 0 again since we are subtracting 0 so this is the limiting value yes we got this okay we got the same limit here so conversely we have to assume this part and we have to prove the first part make a screenshot of it then we will go further so now let us discuss converse part of it conversely we supposed to assume this part okay so i have assumed the same part see in previous we, uh, you can see there i had written infinity actually zero is there rectified it now okay so this part i have assumed i have to prove the first part so obviously using epsilon delta definition we are going to prove so that's why i have taken epsilon also so as you know we have the information let us use it now so therefore by this information we can write therefore there exists delta greater than zero such that see such that can you tell me what can we write here by definition of limit we can write zero less than mod z minus zero right less than delta implies one upon this is a function one upon f of one by z minus zero zero is a limiting value so this is less than epsilon after that we will simplify it further okay so therefore zero less than z minus zero z less than delta here also anything minus zero will have the same term okay see after that what will i do i am going to replace z by one by z let us see what will happen okay let me write that thing here replacing z by 1 by z okay so we get tell me what will you get 0 less than i am replacing z by 1 by z so here we will have 1 by z less than delta implies mod here also i am going to replace z by 1 by z already 1 by z is there so we'll have z only so 1 upon f of z less than 
epsilon <coughs> after that what will i do i will take reciprocal of both sides so see what will happen if you take its reciprocal we will have mod z only if you take its reciprocal we will have one upon delta and inequality will get changed so on that side also i'm going to take reciprocal of both sides okay see what will happen this is already in denominator so it will go to numerator this is in numerator so it will go to denominator and inequality will also get changed so that's why we get this one see mod z greater than 1 by delta it means z approaches to infinity f of z is greater than 1 upon epsilon that means f of z also approaches to infinity so therefore by definition what can we write therefore limit see it shows z approaches to infinity and it shows f of z approaches also infinity so we got this one yes we got it okay so uh, yes the proof is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye